Movie making requires the joint effort of numerous skilled professionals, many of whom work tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that a movie is realistic and relatable. With so many creative minds contributing to a movie's success, it can be hard to identify a movie's author or authors for copyright purposes. In Al Mohammed versus Lee, we explore the Copyright Act's joint work provisions. In 1991, Warner Brothers entered a work-for-hire agreement with Spike Lee for the production of the movie Malcolm X, starring Denzel Washington. Lee served as director, co-producer, and co-writer for the screenplay. Washington asked Jeffrey Al Mohammed, a specialist on Islam and Malcolm X, to assist with the movie. Al Mohammed agreed, but his agreement was never formalized in a contract with Washington, Lee, or Warner Brothers. Al Mohammed performed a number of functions during the movie-making process. Among other things, he made extensive script revisions, created two new scenes, ensured authenticity in the depiction of religious prayers and practices, and performed post-production editing. But throughout the movie-making process, Lee retained the ultimate authority to accept or reject Al Mohammed's suggestions and changes. After filming and before the movie's release, Al Mohammed requested credit as a co-writer. The request was rejected, and Al Muhammad was instead listed in the movie's credits as an Islamic technical consultant. Al Muhammad filed suit against Lee, Warner Brothers, and other entities involved in the movie's production. He sought a declaratory judgment that Malcolm X was a joint work under the Copyright Act and that as an author of the joint work, he was a co-owner of the movie's copyright. He also sought an accounting for profits. The district court granted summary judgment dismissing Al Mohammed's copyright claims, and he appealed to the Ninth Circuit.